It's really great after the hundred plus days when the centre has had to be closed to finally be able to reopen on a careful uh, and minimal basis. We're reopening the gallery, the art gallery, with our wonderful exhibition masculinities and we're reopening the conservatory uh, for free entry to the public. So. We're just beginning to bring this uh, sleeping beauty of an organisation back to life. How much time at home? Well, that's another thing I didn't say, but, you know, there's going to be a big impact one way or another on top. At root, what the arts are about is bringing people together. Uh, and that's what's been so desperately missing uh, during the lockdown. There have been all sorts of brilliant digital alternatives, all sorts of brilliant digital virtual choirs and so on. But the actual physical act of bringing people together in a shared experience is what the Barbican has been about across the 40 years since it was built. And that is what we've got to get back toward, that's a sense of people being able to share deep feelings, deep emotions and relating to one another. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I mean, yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. So it's one thing that's stopped. And I think it's made one really sympathetic to the impact of this um, virus and the impact in very, very different ways on different people. Uh, and I'm not complaining because I didn't have it uh, seriously enough, but I was really out of action for a good two to three weeks. So I think we have to recognise that we need to go carefully. We need to err in the side of caution because the last thing we want as all the arts get back to uh, a, a new life is to have another wave, which means that we all have to shut down again. We want to be able to move forward carefully in well orchestrated steps. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.